do a do. Hi! I'm so excited. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Smashing English. Before we start this video, be sure to subscribe because I make new videos all the time and I don't want you to miss any. So, with that said, Let's get on with the video, hey! Hamilton, okay? It's the biggest thing that's happened to musical theatre since it began. The music in Hamilton, I think, is some of the best music written for the stage ever. I love it, I think it's amazing, and there's so many words in the soundtrack. If you listen to the Hamilton soundtrack, I guarantee you will digest thousands of English words. So we are going to use the lyrics from Hamilton today to help broaden our English vocabulary because I am a firm believer that music is one of the best ways to help you learn English. So come with me and we shall learn some phrases and new words from Hamilton. On with the show. Let's start with the song, My Shot. Now straight away, the first line in this song is, I am not throwing away my shot. That's a very good Lin-Manuel Miranda impression, I must say. So let's talk about this line. I am not throwing away my shot. Now to a non-native English speaker, this sentence might sound a bit strange. To throw away my shot, what does that mean? So let's talk about this phrase. To have a shot at something is to have a chance, an opportunity, uh, something you've waited your life for, you know, or someone's shot might be a chance to work alongside the big boss of a company. So, you know, it's their big chance, it's their opportunity, it's their shot. So if you throw away your shot, it, you, you lose that opportunity, you don't take the chance. You know, someone says to you, oh, would you like to attend this big meeting with the heads of the company? And you say, mm, no thanks. You're throwing away your shot. So there you go. Who knew Hamilton could be so useful? I did, that's why I made this video. So he says that twice. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. And then he says, ayo, which is a rap kind of phrase. Don't worry about it. It's not in the English dictionary. It's just something that in rap music, look at me, acting like I know rap music. I don't know anything about rap. But it's a musical kind of sound, like the way Michael Jackson would go hee hee. It doesn't mean anything in English, it's just something they would say. I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. Now I'm guessing you know what young and hungry means. If you don't, I suggest you learn those ones. They're quite useful. Scrappy is a great word, great adjective. If you're scrappy, you're usually young, feisty, ready for a fight, ready to make a difference. You're quite vocal, you're scrappy. Hey yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy and hungry and I'm not throwing away my shot. See, look at this. Already we've learned a new idiom and we've learned a new adjective. Thank you, Lin-Manuel Miranda. Okay, moving on to the song. Helpless. This is one of my favourite songs of all time. But let's learn some English from it. So let's start with the title of the song. It's an adjective, helpless. In the context of this song, helpless means you are beyond help. You are so, you know, she is so in love with this man that nothing can help her. Nothing can stop her, nothing can save her. You, well, I'm done. I'm in love, that's it, I'm beyond help. However, we can also use helpless for things like puppies or babies. You know, helpless in that context means you're, you can't defend yourself. You're, you're just innocent, you know, you're completely unable to help yourself. So let's look at the lyrics from the chorus. So she starts with, boy, you got me helpless. Boy, you got me helpless. Let me add two letters into this sentence and it'll make more sense. Boy, you've got me helpless. So in modern English, particularly in the USA and with music, people tend to take away the VE and just say things like, you got me, you got me helpless. But actually the real sentence should be, you've got me helpless. You have got me helpless. So in this context, got 
means uh, to make someone feel something. So we can say things like, you know, seeing that baby, it's getting me all emotional. You know, it, it gets me emotional. It's getting me emotional. So in this context, she's saying you have present perfect, you have got me helpless. You have made me helpless. And I bet you thought you wouldn't learn anything from this video. And she's using the present perfect, you have got me helpless, because he started making her feel helpless in the past, but she still feels helpless now. So it's something that started in the past and continues to now. Present perfect. <laughs> Moving on, she says, Look into your eyes and the sky's the limit. Now I want to focus on the sky's the limit. The sky is the limit. This idiom is very common and pretty self-explanatory. She's saying that I looked into your eyes and now the sky is the limit of how good I am feeling. You know, we use the sky is the limit to explain that something has no limit, you know, but it's saying that something is limitless. You can do whatever you want. There's no end to this. There's no stopping. Next, she says, I'm helpless down for the count and I'm drowning in them. Okay, so she's drowning in his eyes, drowning in his eyes. This is quite a romantic phrase that we use to say that I'm so lost in your eyes, I'm drowning in them. Now down for the count. I like this phrase, this is a useful idiom. Now this comes from boxing, I believe, where if you are poof, knocked out in the boxing ring and you are down for the count, when they go one, two, three, four, do they count to 10? I think they count to 10. One, two, three, four, five. You are down, you're knocked out. So in a metaphorical sense, if you say I'm down for the count, you are just, you are so overwhelmed with love that she is just knocked out by it. And finally, let's pay a visit to the song, You'll Be Back. In particular, I want to highlight this lovely idiom for you. Cause when push comes to shove, I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love, da 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 da. When push comes to shove, lovely phrase. Now, when push comes to shove means when you are forced to make a decision about something. When you reach the point where a decision or action needs to be made, this is how I act. This is what I say. So he says that he's so tough and so strong, but when push comes to shove, he couldn't hurt a fly. So in this context, cause when push comes to shove, I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love. So he's saying, at the point when I'm forced to make a decision here, when this all comes to a finale, I will send an army for you. And there you are, some brand new phrases, some brand new vocabulary from Hamilton. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you would like to follow my Instagram, the link for that is down below. And also down below is a link where you can have a one-to-one -one online English lesson with me. Wouldn't that be fun? So have a look down there and all the links will be there for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ta-ta!